Hey coaches, uh, Daniel here. Just wanted to run through the 24 and 24 event with you step by step to make sure that everybody was on the same page. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot us over a message on GroupMe after this. But before we get started, let's just take a look at the Memorial Day um, schedule changes. We're only changing things for Monday, the 29th. We are running Murph at every single time, uh, and we will lay out the warm-up and modifications for that and suggested partner-ups if athletes want to do it. As we dive into Friday for the 24 and 24 event, keep in mind that as much as we try to promote this and put this event out on every one of our channels of communication, that uh, athletes are going to walk through the box and have no idea that an event is going on. Or in Wayne, they're going to have no idea that we're rotating workouts every class. So please set the expectation with them and encourage them to visit the website where they can find an area to uh, donate to the event. Athletes do not have to donate to the event if they are attending regular workout times. If they are attending workouts outside of those times, then we are going to suggest that they do donate to the event, either online or in person here in Ardmore. So to break this down, workouts are going to rotate every single hour with the event. However, the mobility is going to stay consistent across all workout times that are coached. And the workout, I'm sorry, the warm-up prep will stay consistent. So this is coach-led, and it will stay consistent across all the workout times we have tomorrow, all right? And we would like for the coaches to cue this so athletes get an empty barbell and they actually say, all right, three muscle cleans and then three front squats and they work their way through it so that everybody's on the same page and we have the opportunity to teach some movements tomorrow, especially for the newer athletes, which will translate over to those workouts. The training intent for every single hero wad is gonna stay the same across the board. So if we take a look at the first two workouts of the day, Bear Shark is on tap, and we are listing alternatives to make it simple for the coaches tomorrow. 12 noon is going to be white. I understand that 24 and 24 will be completing this at 1230. We are going to be completing this at 12. And the reason we're going to be doing that is because if we didn't, then we would have athletes coming in the door late to try to complete that with the 24 and 24 group. But again, we have modifications listed. 4.30 Sisson, modifications listed. 5.30 Zimmerman, modifications listed. 6.30 Randy, modifications listed. One thing you're gonna find down here at the bottom of the blog and on Wattify is the cash out, all right? Typically, we've been programming this in at the beginning of the workout. However, today, because it's a special event, we're programming it in at the end. It's because hero wads are typically a little longer. Some of these are shorter. And if you have time, this needs to be coach-led at the end. So if you have 10 minutes, probably 15 minutes to gauge this, please make this coach-led. And then our typical cash out is listed down here at Reverse Hyper and glute ham bridges on the bench. If you have any questions on how this is going to be run, uh, please shoot us over a message on Group Me. Again, if we set the expectation with the athletes that this is a great event, this is a great cause, and over 100 people are going to come together tomorrow to raise money for this cause, the expectation they will have when they walk into the box is that the environment will be intoxicating. And yes, things are not going to be normal, but it's going to be a really good time. Feel free to shoot us a message if you have any questions. We've done our best to try to lay it out here, and we are going to do the same for Monday's workout. Murph.